Mohozki Nurugaba. I know today is your birthday celebrations, but I won't attend. But let me tell you what I would whisper in your ears. If I did and you came to hug me while welcoming me, I am a representation of millions of Ugandans who would wish to celebrate their birthdays like yours, but there's no room. The whole nation is in total doom and gloom as you smile for the smile in your life. Think about a mom and a dad with their children living in strife and tell me if there's any meaning in that kind of life. After this birthday celebration, may you deliver a message to your father and president of Uganda, whom you claim to have huge admiration for, is seated on a ticking bomb. How does he endorse your extravagant birthday celebration while the country is facing the worst ever inflation, the insecurity is stretching all over the nation, our people living in fear for your men, state brutality, the worst forms of impunity have become the new security forces identity, a healthcare crisis in every region, Unemployment reducing our people to your mere beggars, whether they be educated or not. Let them be teachers, lawyers, doctors, journalists, farmers, to mention but a few. Mohozi and Mr. Museveni look all over the country and you will see faces of poverty almost in all homesteads. See, my brother told me when I was preparing this that I should get my last will and testament ready because you will come after me. Mohozi and Mr. Museveni. Life to me is meaningless if all the years I'm supposed to live will be looking at a country I call home, being governed like a banana republic, citizens treated like slaves while criminals are awarded like heroes. Take this physical life so that I may come back in spirit and I can speak to you in your dreams and show you the country. We ought to be a country ruled by the rule of law and democracy, respect of human rights. Happy birthday.